friends, welcome to today's video. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Rachel and I'm so excited that you're here to watch this scrapbooking video. Today, are you ready for it? Today I'm doing a 12 by 12 layout. I don't normally do 12 by 12 layouts. I know most people do, but I usually do eight and a half by 11. I usually do one or two photos. Today I'm doing two photos. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit different and exciting for me. Um, yeah, I had two photos and I thought it would be fun to switch things up. I put my project life and scrapbooking together in the same album. Um, I just like use my more, like, my more special photos, I guess, for a scrapbooking layout. And then I put the other photos in project life and put it all in one album. And I put them in 12 by 12 al albums. And so there is opportunity for me to um, do 12 by 12 layouts. I just gravitate towards the eight and a half by 11, but here we are. I thought this paper was absolutely perfect for that. I think the wood grain is so pretty with those white flowers. So I was definitely inspired by that. I, I used a wide flat paintbrush and like, just like did like paint on it with a dry paintbrush. Um, and I did a second layer as well. Um, so I'm going to mat these two photos just with some scrap paper and uh, I'm liking the way that's looking. I'm going to add that second layer to just darken it up a bit, just a little bit, kind of leaving it messy. was trying to do paint splatters, but because I used a dry brush, that wasn't really going to happen. <laughs> um, but I like the way that looks. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm going to take out my products to see what I'm working with. I love this collection. It's the Gingham Garden Collection by Crate Paper that you can get from Scrapbook Nerd, and I just think it's so pretty. Um, in my last Scrapbook Nerd video, I used this collection to make um, a tag flip, and there were like five, I think five different tags on this sheet, and so I decided to cut up the sheet a little bit more and use up some of those pieces for my layers. So I'm going to distress them with my scissors to give it a little texture. I'm going to start laying them out on my page to see how it'll all look together. So these are some photos of us kayaking and um, these photos are from September of 2021. So quite a while ago now and it was the first summer of getting our kayaks. So we were out there a lot and of course we all know how 2021 was. Um, and so this gave us the opportunity to do something different and to, to spend some time outside and obviously around nobody because you're in your own kayak on a lake or a body of water. So kind of the perfect activity to do at that time and anytime. I still love it um, going out this weekend, actually. So I'm adding my layers here and there are so many wonderful um, ephemera packs and stickers and different things that this collection has and so I was just really placing things everywhere not really thinking too much about it now the the part that I did struggle with a little bit was figuring out a title so I try out a few different things I just felt like the sizes weren't right I didn't know where to go with this title I didn't really have anything specific in mind um, I struggled a bit with that and I also really wanted to make these two photos connect in their layers a little bit so that's why you see me here fiddling with a lot of different layers and uh, ultimately I love how this layout turns out. That doily is just for my stash but the rest of this all is from the collection and this glue even is also from the shop as well and I love it. It's, it's my favorite. So those pictures are now adhered down and now this is the point where I'm going to try and figure out a title, try and figure out what would look good but nothing. It was either too small or too big. I couldn't quite find the right thing, but I do settle on something in the end, which you'll see. There's this papery pack from the collection that I split with Fleur, and so she has half and I have the other half, so um, that's kind of nice because it is a huge ephemera pack. I know like you might see the price of it and be like, why is it so expensive? And the reason is because it has so many things in it. Um, it is, it'll get you a long way. I also split the pack in whatever the last one of the last collections was they had a papery pack and um, I split that with her and I still have tons of it. I use tons of it and I still have lots left. So it definitely lasts a long time and they're very usable pieces, I find. I think they make make cool layered backgrounds and stuff like that. I love these floral pieces. I always love florals in collections. So got to put some of those on and yeah, just adding more to these layers 
and kind of adding up now and adding these adorable little hearts. I love the colors in this collection. The pastels are just so pretty. And cray paper, for me, in my opinion, they just always seem to nail it with the collections. Um, this is only my second time playing with this collection so far, but I am really loving it. And yeah, I think they just do such a great job with the collections. Um, so I hope this gives you some ideas and some inspiration of how to use this collection. Um, like I said earlier, my first project was tag flip and now I'm doing a scrapbook layout, double photo, 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. I would really like to try an eight and a half or maybe 12 by 12 or an eight and a half by 11 uh, grid style layout. I think this collection lends well to that. Um, with all the different pieces. I love doing grid style when I first get a collection because then you can really showcase a lot of your favorite pieces. Because for me at the beginning, I just want to use all my favorite things in the collection. I don't like hoarding them all. I'm just so excited to use them and play with them. And I think a grid layout is a fantastic way to display all of your favorite pieces and um, icons and things like that. So my title is going to be capture and then I'm going to put another word piece um, on the bottom as well to kind of even it out a little bit and even some journaling, which is unlike me. So look at me go, going out of my comfort zone <laughs> and doing different things. Um, yeah, I love how this layout's coming together. Um, I think these are some special photos and some special memories and um, I just love being out on the water and... Um, yeah, just being out kind of what feels like in the middle of nowhere, but then you drive drive home and you're back in the city again. Like, it feels like a different world when you're out on the water and seeing all the animals. We see lots of uh, little baby turtles, like the size of your palm, dozens and dozens sometimes. If it's sunny out and they're all sitting out, it's so cute. Um, we also see herons, and I've only seen beavers twice, um, and of course lots of birds and some fish, geese, ducks, you know, swans, normal stuff, but it's so much fun. We have so many like bodies of water around us where we live. So um, it's kind of like, why didn't we do this sooner? Actually, the reason why we didn't do it sooner is because the summer before we had gone to a cottage and um, they had I think, I don't know, I don't think they had canoes, but I've written, I've, I've been on a lot of canoes in my life with growing up, going to camp every summer, but I had not ridden or, I don't know, used a lot of kayaks or sup boards, and this cottage had both of those kayaks and sup. So we were able to try them both and love them both, but ultimately decided on kayaks um, as opposed to the sup boards, but love both, and I'm glad we got the kayaks when we did. Um, so I added some paint splatters and then I also went in with some stamping. Who am I? But I think it really like completes this page. I love it so much and I forgot how much I really like stamping. So, oh, I also did sewing around the border as well. As you can see, I love this collection. I'll link it down below. Do some shopping. Enjoy. I hope you were inspired by this and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.